In January, the unprecedented virus outbreak broke out in central China's Hubei. Exhausting the local health care resources. The situation called for a fast collective response by all governments and communities. On January 23rd, Wuhan was put under lockdown, and President Xi Jinping said the country was engaging in a serious battle. Days later, she shared China's plan with the head of the World Health Organization. The WHO recognized China's speed and efficiency in responding to the virus outbreak over the first few weeks. The central government sent a team led by Vice Premier Sun Chunlin to the epicenter to pool top medical experts, concentrate medical efforts, and mobilize all resources from across the nation. Starting on the eve of Spring Festival on January 24th, more than 4,000 military medics and over 340 national medical teams, with 42,600 personnel gathered in Hubei province. Donations, including blood supplies for surgery, daily necessities, and much needed funds, flowed to the region. Manufacturing sectors ramped up production capacity to ensure the flow of medical supplies. Uh, in the beginning, some people may be so pessimistic about the future. They may say that, what can we do about this virus because the virus is so complicated. However, under the leadership of our central party and the government, people's confidence has been back. The massive deployment by securing medical treatment and helping people get their daily necessities during lockdown boosted national morale. It was China's largest scale mobilization of medical resources in its modern history. Some 40,000 construction workers, several thousand sets of machinery and equipment were also mobilized to build the two major hospitals in Wuhan. In early February, one was completed in 10 days and another in 12 days, together providing 2,600 beds. Meanwhile, 16 public venues were converted into temporary treatment centers within 10 days. Called Fansan Hospitals, they provided over 14,000 beds in all. In one Fansan hospital, Ipal Eme turned a corner into a dance hall to help improve physical and mental condition of patients with mild symptoms. Fansan hospitals had a major role in preventing community transmission in Wuhan and served the majority of those identified as infection during the mass screening. That's why they were, as the medical journal The Lancet wrote, crucial to relieving the huge pressure on the healthcare system. Designated hospitals then focused on treating severe and critically ill patients. Eighty percent of severe cases had underlying medical conditions, and the National Health Commission refined this category in its current clinical diagnosis plan, the seventh within seven weeks starting from January 15th. Case-by-case -case treatment was prescribed after consultation with a multidisciplinary team. The plan also includes the use of traditional Chinese medicine in tandem with modern medicine. In Wuhan, that was applied to 90% of all cases, proving to have a significant effect in preventing mild cases from worsening. And one category has been widely adopted in several countries, the 14-day medical observation after discharge. On 
呃国家政府对我们负责任，说实话。我就等着这一个礼拜，我就马上可以去了。嗯嗯嗯，加油，回来做好吃的给你吃。The medical intervention, in a timely and precise manner, just paralleled the central government's decision to lock down the city. The lockdown aimed to curb the spread of the daily virus, mainly by suspending outbound and inbound travel in Hubei. It then expanded to the stay-at-home rule among communities, which President Xi described as the second major battlefield of the prevention campaign. The policy allowed Wuhan community workers to find targeted residents among more than four million households. Those in need of quarantine were sent to designated medical facilities. Thousands of volunteers joined in community service to support others. 去了就会社区就有居民说，周旭吉，我今天周末是要跟你们一起，比如说我们大排查工作啊，还有我们每天的送药，还有买菜。And it is in this whole process that many community workers, policemen, and volunteers have committed to individual service and community prevention. In a visit to Wuhan in March, she said the efforts by locals and frontliners reflect the power and spirit of the Chinese people, who turned their patriotism into solidarity and sympathy. Wuhan is a Hubei is a Chinese is a Hubei is a In late March, life in cities across the country gradually started to get back to normal. On April 8th, Wuhan authorities started a phased reopening of all outbound modes of transit. During Wuhan's 11-week lockdown, the decisive actions of the central and local governments, the strong conviction of health experts, medical workers and ordinary people helped contain the outbreak and save lives. China's success story has become what WHO chief described as a rich resource of experience worth learning for other countries.